How to build a Todo app with React, TypeScript, Nodes, and MongoDB. In this tutorial, we will be using TypeScript on both sides, server and client to build a Todo app from scratch with React, Nodes, Express, and MongoDB. If you're new to this, you can start with a practical guide to TypeScript or how to build an API from scratch with Node.js, Express, and MongoDB to get most out of this tutorial. Otherwise, let's get started. It will ask for a couple of questions and then initialize the app. You can skip it by adding a Y flag to the command. As you can see, this file structure is relatively simple. The disk directory will serve as an output folder once the code has compiled to plain JavaScript. We also have an app.ts file that is the entry point of the server. The controllers, types, and routes are also in their respective folder names. Now, we need to configure the sconfig.json file to help the compiler along following our preferences. We can now install the dependencies to enable TypeScript in the project. Because by default, this app will use JavaScript. There are two ways of using TypeScript in a Nodes app, either locally in the project or globally in our machine. I will go for the latter based on personal preference. But you can stick with the local way if you want to. This G flag allows installing TypeScript globally and this makes it accessible from anywhere on the computer. We also need to install the types as development dependencies to help the TypeScript compiler understand the packages. Now, TypeScript won't yell at you anymore, it will use these types to define the libraries we've just installed. We also need to add other dependencies to be able to compile the TypeScript code and start the server concurrently. With that in place, we can now update the package JSON file with the scripts needed to start the server. Concurrently will help compile the TypeScript code. Keep watching for changes, and also start the server simultaneously. That said, we can now launch the server, however, we have not created something meaningful yet in that regard. So, let's fix that in the next section. Here, we have a Todo interface that extends the document type provided by Mongoose. We will be using it later to interact with MongoDB. That said, we can now define how a Todo model should look. As you can see here, we start by importing the interface eTodo and some utilities from Mongoose. The latter helps to define the Todo schema and also pass in eTodo as a type to the model before exporting it. Here, we first need to import some types from Express because I want to type the values explicitly. If you want, you can let TypeScript infer it for you. Next, we use the function getodos to fetch data. It receives a reek and res parameter and returns a promise. And with the help of the Todo model created earlier, we can now get data from MongoDB and return a response with the array of todos. As you can see, the function addTodo receives the body object that contains data entered by the user. Next, I use typecasting to avoid typos and restrict the body variable to match eTodo and then create a new Todo based on the model. With that in place, we can now save the Todo in the DB and return a response that contains the Todo created and the updated todos array. To update a Todo, we need to extract the id and the body from the reek object and then pass them to findbyad and update. This utility will find the Todo on the database and update it. And once the operation is completed, we can now return the updated data to the user. The function deletetodo allows you to delete a todo from the database. Here, we pull out the id from reek and pass it as an argument to findbyad and remove to access the corresponding todo and delete it from the db. Next, we export the functions to be able to use them in other files. That said, we can now create some routes for the API and use these methods to handle the requests. As you can see here, we have four routes to get, add, update, and delete to-dos from the database. And since we already created the functions, the only thing we have to do is import the methods and pass them as parameters to handle the requests. So far, we have covered a lot, but we still don't have a server to start. So, let's fix that in the next section. Before creating the server, we need to first add some environment variables that will hold the MongoDB credentials in the nodeemon.json file. 
const yuri string equals mongodb plus srv skeptical smiley face slash dollar opening curly bracket process dot nth mongo user process dot nth mongo password at clustertodo dot ras 9 g dot mongodb dot net slash dollar opening curly bracket process dot nth mongodb retry writes equals true and w equals majority here we start by importing the express library that allows us to access the use method that helps handle the to-dos routes. Next, we use the mongoose package to connect to MongoDB by appending to the URL the credentials held on the nodeemon JSON file. That said, now if we connect successfully to MongoDB, the server will start. If appropriate, an error will be thrown. We're now done building the API with Node, Express, TypeScript, and MongoDB. Let's now start building the client-side app with React and TypeScript. To create a new React app, I will go with create React app, you can use other methods as well if you want. Here, we have a relatively simple file structure. The main thing to notice is that src type dts will hold the types. And since I will use them on almost every file, I added the extension dts to make the types globally available. And now we don't need to import them anymore. Here, the etodo interface needs to mirror the shape of data from the API. And since we don't have mongoose here, we need to add additional properties to match the type defined on the API. Next, we use that same interface for the todoprops, which is the type annotation for the props that will be received by the component responsible for rendering the data. As you can see, we need to import Axios to request data from the API. Next, we use the function getodos to get data from the server. It will return a promise of type axios response that holds the to-dos fetched that need to match the type appa data type. This function receives the data entered by the user as an argument and returns a promise. Here, we need to emit the id property because MongoDB will create it on the fly. To update a todo, we have to pass in the updated data and the id of the object. Here, we need to change the status of the todo, which is why I only pick the property we need before sending the request to the server. With that in place, we can now go to the components folder and add some meaningful code to its files. As you can see, here we have a functional component of type React FC. FC stands for functional component. It receives as a prop the method saveTodo that allows us to save data to the DB. Next. We have a form data state that needs to match the etodo type to satisfy the compiler. That is why we pass it to the user state hook. We also need to add an alternative type because the initial state will be an empty object. Here, we need to extend the todoprops type and append the functions update todo and deletetodo to handle appropriately the props received by the component. Now, once the todo object passed in, we will be able to display it and add the functions needed to update or delete a todo. Here, we first need to import the components and utility functions held on API TS. Next, we pass to user state an array of type etodo and initialize it with an empty array. The method getodos returns a promise, therefore, we can access the then function and update the state with the data fetched or throw an error if any occurs. With that in place, we can now call the function fetchtodos when the component is successfully mounted. Once the form is submitted, we use addtodo to send the request to the server, and then if the todo has successfully saved, we update the data, otherwise an error will be thrown. The functions to update or delete a todo are quite similar. They both receive a parameter, send the request, and get back a response. And then, they check if the request has been successful and handle it accordingly. Now, if you browse on the folder that contains the server-side app, and execute the following command in the terminal. Great, with that final touch, we have now finished building a Todo app using TypeScript, React, Nodes, Express, and MongoDB. Learn to code for free. FreeCodeCamp's open source curriculum has helped more than 40,000 people get jobs as text source, freecodecamp.org.